Hey everybody, Matt here with Take Roads Less Traveled, and today on the Avalanche, we are doing the engine temperature sensor. Super easy. So we're gonna dive right into it. First thing we're gonna do is come over to the driver's side of the engine, and right here on the alternator, you're gonna see this bracket right here. It's got two bolts in it, those are 10 millimeters. We're gonna take those bolts out just to give us a little extra space to work. We're also gonna take a flathead screwdriver and open up this wire retainer clip. That'll let us get these wires out of the way and allow us to rotate this entire bracket out of the way so that we can get down to the engine temperature sensor, which is right down here. Now, just to be on the safe side, we're gonna disconnect the negative battery terminal. The reason for this is because I wanna disconnect the ground wire from the alternator as well. And that's gonna give me a lot more space and a lot more room, as far as wires are concerned, to get that bracket out of the way. With the negative terminal disconnected, I can now safely remove that 10 millimeter retainer nut for the alternator ground. With that bracket moved out of the way now, I have easy access to the engine coolant temp sensor plug. It has a retainer clip on it, so simply lift up on that plastic tab and pull it off. And there you have it. You now have access directly to the plug. You now have access to the sensor and are able to pull it out. It's a 19 millimeter and a deep well socket is what you're gonna need bit of a tight fit so you don't have much room to turn your ratchet now you could use swivels and extensions but the angle just isn't really ideal for those so at an eighth of a turn at a, each time it's gonna take just a little bit to get it out but once it's loose enough you can just turn it by hand and you will lose some coolant be sure to know that. With the new sensor, before you put it in, put a little dielectric grease down inside the plug. That'll protect it from any moisture, and then we can get this installed. There's the new sensor installed. When you put it in, start it by hand, being sure not to cross-thread anything. And when you tighten it, be sure not to over-tighten it. It does have a crush washer on it, but remember, this is also made of brass, so it's easy to manipulate those threads. So be very careful to not over torque or cross thread it. And now that everything's ready, we can take the plug and hook it right back in. And at that point, all that's left is to put this bracket back in place, reconnect the alternator ground, and reconnect the battery. Now that everything's bolted back in place and put back together, we're almost ready to test it. But before we do that, we need to top off our coolant because of what we lost when we pulled that sensor. GM loves their decks cool. And if you haven't done a full system flush and replaced everything with regular green coolant, make sure you stay with the decks cool. It goes right into the coolant reservoir. And be sure on the side here to note the markings that tell you just how much fluid you need to put in there. Make sure to note the difference of where it says where it should be at when it's hot and when it's cold and only open this when your engine is cool. Now that we know that the coolant is topped off, we're safe to test it. Let's go ahead and start the vehicle. We're gonna let that run. This is a great time to get back under the hood and make sure there's no leaks coming from anywhere, just to play it safe. After a few minutes of idling, your engine will come up to temperature provided that sensor is working properly. And on most GM vehicles, you should be sitting right in the 200 to 210 range at idle. And it should be holding that perfectly fine. If that's the case, congratulations. You just swapped out your engine coolant temperature sensor on your Chevy 5.3 liter V8. 